Austria announces fourth national lockdown and compulsory vaccination. Here's a summary of the article. The nationwide general lockdown will start on Monday to be reviewed after the first 10 days and to last for a maximum of 20 days for vaccinated people. The lockdown for unvaccinated people is set to continue after the end of the general lockdown if judged necessary. Austria's Chancellor Alexander Schallenberg and Health Minister Wolfgang Muckstein both said a lockdown alone was not enough to end the vicious circle of increasing spread of the virus and repeated lockdowns. Muckstein said, the lockdown will break the fourth wave. The way out of the fifth wave is vaccination, vaccination, vaccination. The lockdown will follow the rules that are already familiar to people in Austria. The governors of Salzburg and Upper Austria, the two regions with the highest spread of COVID-19, had already announced they would begin another lockdown for the whole population from Monday, lasting for at least three weeks in Salzburg and until December 17 in Upper Austria. Calls for lockdown in the highest incidence regions or across the whole country have increased over the past week, partly due to criticisms of the partial lockdown as divisive and difficult to enforce, and also due to the strain Austrian hospitals are under. This post received a score of 4,900, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. It's almost 2022 and there are still lockdowns. This is just perfect. At the start of this, the British Prime Minister said it'll all be over by Christmas. That's when I knew there'd be at least four years of this shit. But did the PM say which Christmas? It's like with WW1. At the start they said the war would be over by Christmas. Which was kind of correct, just Christmas four years later. Technically correct is the best kind of correct. Can you share the full statement? From the article one can't seem to find Chancellor stating clearly that vaccination becomes compulsory. Obviously in German. The real question is what the compulsory vaccination would imply. Will they forcefully put the jab into the arms of people? Will they get fined or something else? Usually goes with some kind of restriction on public services. In hash X200B. For, hypothetical here. But may exist in some jurisdictions. Example. Refusing a shot without medical reason means you can't go to public school. Private schools may need to provide the government proof that their students are vaccinated, which means that they'd be locked out of private schools as well. I'm skeptical if they really stick to it. If the numbers go down again, there will be political pressure to soften their stance. Unlike most of the world, Austria does not even have mandatory childhood vaccinations as a precondition for entering school. It's not going away anytime soon. My favorite approach to anti-vaxxers so far is Singapore's. If you aren't vaccinated and you catch COVID and require medical services, you have to pay for the services out of your pocket, even though healthcare is free. You're not forced to get the vaccine, but you'll be financially fucked if you get it. Society shouldn't have to pay for other people's selfishness. I'd have to think something similar will happen with insurance in the US don't want to get vaccinated? Fine. But your premiums will skyrocket to offset the risk of you spending time in the hospital with COVID. This is happening. My employer announced this starting next year. And if they need weekly testing because they aren't vaccinated they have to pay for that themselves as well. (coughs) Haha once again I see Austria and think it's Australia. I'm a dim Aussie. You aren't the only one. Apparently Austria and Australia exchange bags of mislabeled mail once a week. How does compulsory vaccinations work? Will they pin people down? Or lock them up? No, you'll just be unable to use public services, work, leave the house, etc etc, until you do. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.